What is up guys, this is Tato back with another video on the Redmi Note 7 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest update on the Ion OS which I already did a video on and that was the 2.1.a version I think and this is the 2.1.b version as you can see from this build number of the screen here it shows 2.1.b Ion and the official release build and this is the 24th November 2019 build and the android version and stuff is still like android 10 of course and security patch is latest of november 5th 2019 and here is the stock kernel which is the crimson minimal kernel now let me go back and let's talk about this rom i have been using it for almost a week now and i was like quite sick to make videos so that's why i didn't but i have been using this rom now here is my impressions of this update so the stock launcher is still the same we have the google now cards to the left and the settings are very minimal because this is a pixel launcher and here like you can scroll down like swipe down anywhere on the home screen to get to the quick settings panel and stuff but there is no double tap to sleep and stuff on the home screen so yeah that's how it is now let's talk about the like settings panel and stuff here is how it looks like and also you can change the accent colors as you can see here i have like done that to red and it looks quite decent i would say now in the display settings let me show you there is the night light option live display option styles and wallpapers i have shown you these things in the previous video on the like 2.1.a update and here dark theme and stuff is present then there is double tap to wake and stuff lock screen display is there so a lot of things are there no issues with those and in the like ionizer you will find all the customizations now here we have these kind of like normal settings like IME settings and stuff and from this system section you can go into the about and it shows the ion logo and stuff over here then we have some like developers name so do donate them if you can and we have the animations and stuff the whole UI animation is present here and even we have the screen of animation you can change it to CRT and this is how it looks obviously then we have the screenshot type you can change the screenshot type to like take full screen or like drag it selection stuff so you can change the screenshot then we have notifications and you can disable heads up from here we have the in call vibration like vibrate on connect vibrate on call waiting etc then we have vibrate on disconnect and stuff charging animation is there so it does show every time when you plug in it shows the charging animation so that looks really good and wake up on charge and stuff you can disable it from here of course now let's go into the lock screen we have the media cover art then we have the double tap to sleep on lock screen status bar and quick settings and stuff everything is there in the lock screen and lock screen charging info you can enable it if you want to we have the pocket detection if you are into that and we also have the force biometric or like always unlock with the fingerprint scanner this feature is really helpful for me and it works 100% of the time. Even if you reboot your phone, you can directly unlock it by the fingerprint scanner. You don't have to enter your pin or something. If you are in public, this really helps a lot. So I would say like this feature is really helpful in this ROM. And of course we have the clock widget and stuff, then date widget. You can change the font style. You have bunch of options as you can see from here. Lot of fonts option and you can also increase the fonts and stuff if you want to like the font size. And this is how it looks like by default we have the weather then the date and stuff then the time and the unlocking animations are like pretty smooth no issues there and in the navigation we have the like enabling option of the navigation on screen bar of course an invert layout option is present there and there's buttons and if you go into advanced from here you can go into power menu and you have advanced reboot for both the lock screen and normally you can have flashlight and screenshot in the power menu too if you want that let me show you the power menu quickly so here is how it looks like here yeah, it looks pretty long and you have the advanced reboot as you can see and you can directly boot into recovery or fast boot from here of course now like let me go back from here of these buttons and we have the screen of power button torch and long press for torch is there but let me show you that like this thing does not work still so yeah that's how it is over here with the buttons section at least the long press for torch with the lock screen power button it simply does not work and we have the volume steps and stuff you can adjust it if you want to and here is how the volume panel looks like you can expand it just like this and like control the media call volume and stuff like that then we got the quick settings panel and here you can customize the column and row number customizations and then we have the vibrate on toggle touch then tile title 
and lot of options are there then clock and stuff in the header so a lot of options here and battery percentage you can like enable it even in the header and then we got the edit icon ion tag etc so a lot of features are there in terms of this quick setting toggle in the status bar option we have the clock network traffic battery style and this field battery style looks really good and the battery percentage and stuff is there then there is 4g lte icon and the volte icon shows up over there and here is how like you can enable this kind of things and you can enable this cross stuff if you have disabled the mobile data and stuff so you have to enable it separately lot of options here volte hotspot etc icons are here and we have the brightness control and like double tap to sleep on the status bar as you can see this feature works really good the like brightness control with the status bar gesture is like working flawlessly and double tap to sleep is of course there on the status bar no issues with that and quick pull down is there you can choose it to be right left or always and let me show you the finger mid scanner speed again it is quite fast as you can see i have no complaints regarding the finger mid scanner in this rom it is like really fast and quite easy to daily drive with this kind of finger mid scanner speed let me go back then we have the interface option here we have the like accent colors lot of options as you can see i have been using with this like red option it looks good even with the dark theme and there is body fonts as well and you can see bunch of body font options are there then there is icon shape and stuff and here you can like choose it to be tier drop square kill rounded rectangle etc then there is font size display size etc options now let's talk about the battery settings here and the battery life here is really decent here are some screenshots and as you can see it can definitely give you a lot of like screen on time almost 7 plus hour screen on time with every full usage so i don't have any issues regarding this battery life and stuff the battery life in this rom is like really good and in the sound settings let me show you there is no me audio direct or something and screenshot sound and stuff you can disable it and charging vibration you can disable it too so a lot of options and let me go back now here i am having a problem with the bluetooth audio and stuff if i am trying to connect my me sports bluetooth headset this rom simply is not supporting that and it is getting disconnected right away so i don't know why but maybe it's my fault too because i have dirty flashed this rom over the previous build i did not do a clean flash here but i'll definitely recommend you guys doing a clean flash of this rom and if you don't know how to do that here is a card for you just use the orange fox recovery instead of the twrp and regarding the stock cameras here you still have the google camera 7 as the default or stock camera in this rom and you can also install anx camera if you want to but let me tell you the video mode and stuff is like does crash in this rom at least this is the version 158 i flashed so you might like find some fixes or something for this and the ir blaster is working fine with the led rgb remote app the ir blaster present on the device is like working pretty great and this recorder let me show you well it is like recording fine right now as you can see and the transcripting and stuff is like really good so as you can see it is like totally fine the transcript feature of this google recorder is working fine so a pixel 4 feature thumbs up from me and gpay or google pay is working fine here you don't have to worry about it it is working right out of the box and the drm info still shows as level 1 so you can stream the netflix and amazon prime videos on like 1080p settings and if you go into the system and in the advanced you do find a system updater from here and you can check for updates as you can see and in the gestures you do get the swipe to the screenshot so the three finger screenshot gesture and stuff is working fine here and in the system navigation of course we have the android 10 gestures and these gestures over here are working flawlessly and again here is how the call ui looks like and it does not have a call recorder option pretty like stock pixel like dialer here or call ui you do not get the call recorder but volte calls and stuff is working fine here and the app opening up speeds and stuff is like pretty decent still and everything works flawlessly here as you can see now let's open all the apps from memory here you can see like the animation sometimes becomes a little bit choppy but all the apps do stay in memory so i have no issues regarding the ram management here but like even the animation handling by this rom i would say it is pretty decent
and you can switch between apps flawlessly just like this so no issues with that here is the Android score of this ROM and in the meantime let me show you some like live wallpapers present by default here so if you go here this is how it looks like and you can download these wallpapers as you can see kind of like looks pretty good there are some orbital wallpapers and like this is not the best live wallpapers I would say but there are these options so in terms of PUBG well you can play on smooth and ultra settings if you go balanced you still have the ultra and if you go HD you have the HD and high so smooth and ultra is pretty good and the gaming performance here I would say it is like pretty decent not bad at all it's pretty good with gaming I can recommend you guys if you want to game on this ROM so that was it guys regarding this latest ion OS based on Android 10 Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, subscribe to the channel down there if you have not yet. This is Tiro from KDN Tech signing off for today and I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.